call Monday, July 20th, 2020 uh, Psych Board, Berlin Psych Board meeting to order. Um, to my left is Justin Lawrence, Flo Smith, John Quinn. Uh, with us also is our town administrator, Dana Hadley, and our treasurer, Diane Isabel. And Angelina is and on Angel the phone. Angelina Caprone, yes, I keep forgetting the phone. Jeez. Okay. Additions or changes to the agenda? I have none. Uh, public comment? Hearing none. Treasurer's report, Diane. Okay. I'm just going to hand out a little sheet that has comparison from the taxes from last year to the taxes of this year if you owned a $200,000 home. So it's just. Okay. So our tax rate last year, if you had a $200,000 home, if this is just residential that I'm talking about, you would have had a tax bill of $4,566.20. In FY21, that same home would be a tax bill of $4,640.20. So it's a difference of $74 more with the, you know, with the increase for our tax rate and with the uh, school tax rates as well. I did send tax bills out on Monday, so most of everybody should receive a tax bill right now. And actually, I've already had about, they started coming in on Thursday, and I've had at least 15 people so far that have come in to pay their taxes for the entire year. That's great. So the money is starting to come in. And generally, I will have anywhere from 75 to 100 people that will pay their taxes for the entire year between July and August. Excellent. So I'm hoping that that's still going to be the same. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of that, so that's very promising to me. And that's all I've got. Everything else is in. Thank you. Great work. As as a point, you know, for just informational, I didn't see it. Maybe I just missed it. Um, in the delinquent tax report, uh -huh. um, compared to this time last year, is there a higher amount that's out or a lower amount? That's lower, out? actually. Lower. Good. Lower by about three or four thousand dollars. So what happened was some of the people they got some incentive money and they paid their taxes with that. Good. So okay. I'm seeing that. I am seeing more people coming in to pay their delinquents, which is good. Yep. Good. Good to hear. Do we know how the uh, any of the grievances or anything like that? Do we know what happened with our tax base? Uh, not yet. What they did is they had a, a, a meeting with the Board of Civil Authority that was this past week. Mm -hmm. And so what they, they hear what the people have to say. Then they got in committees. From what I understand, I don't attend that. But from what the town clerk is telling me, that they got in committees. And each committee was going to take um, each one of the different uh, people, the people that was grieving here. They're going to discuss it. Then they have another meeting, like another week, and then they will tell what their findings are. And from that point, if the people are still want to grieve it, they can, you know, they have to bring it to court. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything, Diane? Uh, approval voice. Still looking through the, yeah. Um, signatures on paperwork for board. Okay. This is the paperwork that we talked about at the last meeting. This has to do with the um, floor commission and extension on the interim height. And it's for two million one hundred ninety-six thousand dollars. We had we had a rate of one point eight five percent to begin with, and then we reduced it to one point six. So that is really good. And I need the I need a select board to sign in three different places. So I read through it. This is kind of boilerplate. It's just saying you know basically you're going to spend the money just on the, on the sewer. You're going to pay it back, and you're you know you're going to be honest about everything. Mm -hmm. So I marked all the pages that need to be signed by the selector. And then I will sign it after. Do we have a motion on this? You yeah. have approved you that at a previous meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I didn't have the paperwork last mm -hmm. yeah. time. No. And actually approved it in February. Yeah, yeah, it goes back. Um, appointment of health officer, Dana? Tom's term as health officer is expiring the end of August, and he would love to be reappointed. And so I would recommend that you do so. Move to appoint Tom Manowski as our health officer. And I second that motion. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, I need 
Gujarat sign. received three bids um, and I've given each of you um, a tally sheet and I don't know Brad shall I just pass these out and everyone yep. open one Say it again, please. Fourteen sixty-eight tons. Total material ninety-five fifty per ton. Total job cost one hundred and forty thousand one hundred ninety-four dollars. There's Pike. I do. So Pike Industries uh, estimated number of tons of material needed for Granger Road of Berlin. 1490 uh, cost per ton 70 20 total job cost $104,598 and I have United Construction Corp the estimated number of tons of material 1507 Cost per ton 6465 and a total cost of the job of $122,730.55. Can you repeat that total again? The total cost of the job from United Construction Corp is $122,730.55. Did you hear that? Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> and the board's pleasure on this? Dana, did you get them all written down as we went through? Yes. Could you just go through them one more time? That way they're all just... Yep. Uh, you received three bids. Um, Pike Industries estimated a total of 1,490 tons at $70.20 per ton for a total job cost of $104,598. United Construction Corp estimates 1,507 tons at a cost per ton of $64.65 for a total job cost of $122,730.55. ST Paving estimates using 1,468 tons at a per ton cost of $95.50 for a total job cost of $140,194. Who was the tonnage on Pike again? Uh, Pike was 1,490 tons. Did the other proposals include what it um, would entail? This one does have a full proposal that lists traffic control, reclaim, fine grade for four inch of pavement, install four inch of pavement, 2.5 inch of base pavement, and 1.5 inch of top pavement as part of their total cost. 
and that was requested in the, the bid okay staff. very good yeah excellent can i entertain something just for a second sure here? when i look at the united construction okay. 1507 ton at 64 dollars and 65 cents is that what they said yes numbers that up. doesn't add up to 120 90, 94 thousand yeah. is that number so they may be accounting for trucking or something Sure. That's why I was wondering. It didn't sound like it was accurate to me either, and that's why I wondered if something was factored in. Um, so that was part of why I asked that question. Thank you, Diane. There's got to be some overhead costs added in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Must be. Well, Dick, the my guess is it's the reclaiming. That's probably their price per ton to install a hot mix. Only. Say that again, please. Uh, it's Tyson with Pike. Um, that's probably their cost per ton to install the hot mix. The 6465. Uh huh. So. And then you probably have to add, you probably have to add in the reclaim fine grade for the road and trap control and all that to get to the 122. So their their actual cost per ton based off their total. Okay. About 85. Yeah, 80 something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eighty-one, forty-four. Okay, thank you, Tyson. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys, for letting us bid on your project. This is Tyson from Pike. Okay, yeah. who we're talking to. So. I would just say, you know, the amount of material used by all three, I mean, they're all fairly close. Yes. Um, overall price, Pike is the best. Mm -hmm. um, well known, I, I haven't heard anything negative about them. Their, their price per ton, it seems like a, a pretty good price. Um, and just based on the overall cost, I think that, you know, that's probably um, the way, you know, I think we should go. But I concur. No, that's in our Berlin business. Right, right on Granger Road. Mm -hmm. Short drive. So I guess I'll make a recommendation to award the, the paving contract to Pike Industries. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Aye. Did you hear that, Tyson? I did. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Have a good evening, guys. Thank yep, you, too. Jason. Okay, Dana. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so next is the mass exodus. The mass <laughs> exodus. Um, I just wanted a chance for the board to announce it in public that um, I have decided to um, partially retire and, and move forward. Um, I have really enjoyed my time with the town of Berlin and I thank you and I thank the residents for having me here. It's been an honor to serve them. Um, I do, I was very lucky to get a um, a little part-time job that uh, I really hated to say no to, so um, hence why I have to leave sooner than rather than later. But again, thank you again for everything. It's been a it's been a good run. There's been a lot going on, um, and I'm sure it will continue. I have talked with Tom, yep. um, and he and I will talk a little further um, as far as and probably he would will want to meet with you. Um, at some point in time, fairly soon, to talk about some particulars. <laughs> um, the chief, uh, the other um, retirement is the chief of police, who is retiring September 6th. Um, again, I think Bill has, is, is eligible to retire, and he feels that it's time to do so. And he probably will be talking to you in person at some point as well so i uh, wanted to uh, just have it public and have it out so um i'll talk to you later i did um put in here a suggestion for 
a newspaper ad for my position as well as um, the job description that we have on the back. That's upgraded from when you started? It is, yes. And when will it be advertised? That's when I'm, I'm looking for you to tell me. Mm -hmm. Probably as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I think both of them as soon as possible. It takes a while to hire someone. Most definitely. I have spoken with um, Trevor Whipple at the league um, for his assistance in, in hiring uh, for the police officer position because that's a little different from yeah. the, another type of job. Um, Trevor reviewed a few things of what we can do as far as advertising at the academy, uh, the police chiefs association, and a few others. I don't believe that you would want to do a national surge such as Montpelier did. Uh, but I will, I will go ahead and, and start that rolling as well. Well, I think, I think for the most part, anything we put out would probably be viewed in at least New England. Yeah. Trev is very used to doing this, and um, he has given suggestions of where to send it. Quite a few guys to send. Um, and I guess it doesn't hurt to use them all and see what, what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are we at with the road crew advertising? That has been advertised. Um, we may have to re-advertise it because we haven't gotten any responses to it. And the deadline for the response? I didn't have a deadline. Um, maybe, I, I'm always on the fence whether a deadline helps or doesn't help. I, I usually put uh, open until filled. Mm -hmm. um, however, it's still open because it's not filled. I mean, there's Understood. been no one. You know, maybe I can add a, a deadline whether that would help. I don't know. You know. That's gone into, um, it's on the league website. It's also on um, Vermont Roads through the, the mm -hmm. V-Tran program. Vermont Local Roads. Yeah, yeah. Vermont Local mm -hmm. Roads. That, that's yeah. good. And it has been in the newspaper and it's on the website. Mm -hmm. um, Would there be any advantage to putting that on, like, um, uh, what, what's an internet? Uh, Facebook has job searches. You mean like um, job like, search or ideal jobs or monster. jobs indeed or monster, whatever? Yeah, they monster, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we wouldn't. Yeah, I think um, Vermont Department of Labor has a job uh, okay. site as well that has thousands of jobs on it, but it might be a good spot. Um, I think there's usually Indeed.com. Any of those get picked up by Indeed mm -hmm. because of the way it searches. So right. as long as it's on. So if we were to put it on Vermont Department of Labor, we wouldn't need to put it on Indeed. You're thinking it that it would get picked up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, pull it over. Okay. For their database. All right. Anything else on that subject, Dana? No. Okay, approval of select board minutes from uh, 7 6 2020. Move to approve the select board minutes from 7 6 20. I second the motion. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Town administrator's report, Dana. Yes, I have just a few things. Um, talk to you about. Um, I did receive an email from Tim Bingham, who is a gentleman that lives on the corner, mm -hmm. and he's asking if the board is thinking about requiring masks to be worn in Berlin. Um, and I've just gotten this, so I'll send that to you. He he's expresses his concerns about that, so I'll make you aware of that. The uh, unhappy news um, is that we heard from the contractor for the sewer project and he has informed us that the culvert under Fisher Road is shot. And if you'd like to start passing those around. Um, we've had this conversation before and I was told that it wasn't shot. 
um, but those pictures do show it as being in very poor shape. Um, From the bottom? I think, yeah. Same, same thing that's happening to Richardson Road. Um, I almost think it's in worse shape than Richardson Road at the minute. Um, and I think that you're really going to have to think about having it fixed. This is a good time um, while the contract is there for the sewer to do it. Um, I don't have a cost estimate yet, but um, Mirror Lake color it costs us $100,000. And this is a major um, culvert. How many uh, water lines run across, run by that? You know, or uh, sewer so, lines? Yeah. Um, there's only one that I know of presently, but there'll be two when they finish. Um, and I may not have that straight, but I could find that out. But I, I, I know of the one that we've had problems with, and then the sewers being rerouted, so mm -hmm. whether that's going to be incorporated and the other one's going to be eliminated or this will be an additional one, that I don't know. Well, I'm curious, Dina. How did somebody say this culvert was all right? That's a very good question, and I don't see how they could. And how long ago did they say it was all right? Well. When the former superintendent was here, I, I think that we had that discussion. And it was not brought to anyone's attention when we had all that work done on Fisher Road, when we had the sinkhole. No one ever mentioned it. I would have thought it would have been noticed at that time, mm -hmm. um, but no one mentioned that. It was the way it was. How long is it? I would guess it's. Um, 40 feet maybe, Brad? A little more than that. 50 feet? Yeah. I was thinking the Mirror Lake one cost so much because of the, the drinking water? Uh, I think that? part of it was the fact of where it was, yes. Yeah. Also, the size of the one they put in to replace the old one. <coughs> you could get the Queen Mary through there. Um, but On a boat? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. It's huge. Um, this, though, I don't think a slip line would work in there, Brad, do you? It's too I, far I gone. Think, I think it, yeah. I mean, it's getting to the point where the uh, roads want to start pushing the bottom together and collapse it. I'm surprised it hasn't uh, flattened. Yeah. Thank you. You want to get a two for price? So I thought I would see, I would speak to Tom and have him come up with a solution that maybe while they're doing the sewer line and they're going to be interrupting the road anyway, yeah. why not do it at the same time? Makes yeah. sense. Um, we still need to put it out the bed though, right? Well, I don't know. If they're doing the sewer line, I mean, you're not going to get the people doing the sewer wanting somebody, another contractor in there right. at the same time. I mean, right. Yeah, I, I understand that. Um, but so I think it would probably be down just to the extra labor and the cost of the culvert itself. Because they'll have the road torn up already. Right. They'll be gutting mm -hmm. it anyway. So there's right. no, there's no better time to do it. Yeah. Because right. mm -hmm. if you if they finish the sewer line, they're going to repave. They're going to rip it up again. To there's no, I mean, there's no point in that. So do they have to disturb that at all in this process? Probably not. I don't know if they were worried they were going to finish it off by digging near it or around it or... Well, I, it I don't know. I, I don't think the plan is to disturb it at all, um, however. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, it's in pretty tough shape. Um, they got excavators there, they got everything, on the, there's no mobilization of any I think equipment. you have some right. economies of scale by, you know, being able to... Yeah. I mean, usually you would put something like that to bid. I mean, but in this case, I think you'd probably be better off if you didn't. And time is of the essence, yeah. really. In time. In time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you can talk to the contractor and see what the price would be. I will have I'll have Tom report that to you. Um, he will be at your next meeting to uh, report that to you. Not Wednesday, but two weeks. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's all I had to bring to your attention. 
happy news. Thank you, Dave. Um, oh, I did have one more thing, and uh, we are working on, Tim will be in at the next meeting to talk to you further about the grader. And that it? That's it. Well, thank you. <laughs> you don't seem too sincere about that. What's wrong with the grader? <laughs> Nothing. It's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful shape. Okay. <laughs> Just needs tires? Yeah. <laughs> New skins. <laughs> uh, Only on the front. Let's see here. Um, approval of one licensing one permits and vouchers. Yes. We have general fund accounts payable warrant number 21G01 with checks 2347 to 2398 in the amount of $53,571.62. Payroll warrant 21-02 for payroll from July 5th, 2020 to July 18th, 2020 paid on July 22nd of this year in the amount of $47,414.86. Also reconcile bank statements for June General Fund Sewer Commission and Water Division, June Journal Entries and Tax Admin Entry, and June Trial Balance Report, Budget Status Report, and Delinquent Tax Report. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Roundtable, Justin? Yeah. Um, so I was looking at some of our older town policy stuff, and we had had a discussion about the bridge um, on Darling Road for the, the trail there. And it looks that's still a class four trail. And it looks like the town, the select board, still, if we wanted to, could ask them to give a certain width. So it looks like the select board still has direction over that. I was just curious. Um, and then I think, I don't know when we're going to discuss, we've got obviously a lot of changes coming up. And so I feel like we, I don't know when we're going to have a dialogue about it, but I don't know if tonight's a good night to do that or how that would work, what we think our strategy would be moving forward in the interim. Mm -hmm. So. That's all. I just wanted to get some input on those. Mm -hmm. well. So along the same lines of what Justin said, first I wanted to thank Dana for his service, and we all really appreciate it. And um, going forward and knowing that you just have a short while, if there's anything you need help with or anything that we can do, uh, please let us know tonight because we'll be glad to chip in any way, shape, or form to make it easier for you as you transition. Mm -hmm. And we wish you the absolute best. But I also am all for any discussion tonight in terms of how we go forward because you're going to have very big shoes to fill and we need to do a good job going forward. So. I also will be available um, if you need me for anything. Thank you. Um, I'm just a phone call away. Um, and matter of fact, we're not moving right away. We're getting a new kitchen put in our house, so um, that ought to be fun. That's it. Anyway, Thank you very uh, much. John? Um, nothing additional tonight. Angelina? Mm, nope, nothing. Carrie? Is there an executive session? I would like a very short executive session for personnel. Move to enter executive session for a personnel matter. I second the motion.